Hello guys, welcome to another grand interesting video on your Be Aware channel. So in this today's video, we are basically going to learn about assigning slots into the racks and we are going to use ASRS system okay, in order to fill those slots. So basically it is going to be a very interesting yet fascinating tutorial about you know Flexim simulation on your BAY channel. So stay till end of this video in order to learn this and you know groom yourself in Flexim simulation. So the model you look in here it is such a way like we are going to start a process from this end. We are going to fill in the products in this rack and then this forklift is going to transfer these from this rack to this conveyor and then to these trucks which you see which are parked at the end of this facility okay so basically we are going to start a simulation model so you are going to you know look at how the things go so we are having these red color parts when you look at these are type 1 we have green color parts which are type 2 and then we have blue color parts which are type 3 in this simulation okay so basically what we are currently doing right okay we are generating the parts of three types at the source are transferred to the queue and then these are transferred to the conveyor okay now if you could look at i'm specifically putting the parts okay onto certain areas so it is not like i'm putting my parts in certain bay all together or certain slot all together or level all together but it is like a specific type of part goes into specific type of label in the rack okay using asrs so this is what we are going to learn in this tutorial today so before we could start let us identify how are these parts you know are transferred to this rack using asrs okay so there are two methods we can do it conventionally but we are going to learn today the process flow thing so i'm just going to reset this model and if you could look at this is the control point okay so we have in a process flow dp1 source from where on arrival we are going to generate a token named item okay then basically we are uh, currently we have disabled this find slot and assign slot because this logic we have assigned into the rack itself so what we are going to do is we are going to acquire the asrs which we have taken as a resource in a group 2 okay then we are going to tell him to load the uh, you know the uh, item from this control uh, decision point and put it on the rack okay we are going to tell him to unload release and sync so this is as simple as this okay but the actual logic we have applied it into the rack okay so i will just close this process flow for the sake and the time being now okay so this is how it is going to look at look like and our conveyor is getting filled this means that the process is slow okay uh, of you know transferring that and this is how it will look like so if i said zoom in if you could look at so are these labels so this label i have assigned for you know type 1 this i have assigned for type 2 and this i have assigned for type 3 and the forklift okay is going to transfer the part respectively from the levels which he is requiring okay so now just let us look at how we have done so if you click on this rack you will be able to see the slot assignment strategy here i have made as matching the labels right so matching the labels is basically done here in this and you just need to select that and what it is going to do is it is just going to you know assign your parts onto that you know slot based on the item that you have selected now when i just go in the you know in the library if you look at you have a thing named as paint slot labels when i click this you will be able to see the colors right why you are able to see this color is because i have assigned this slots to certain particular type of item and all these you know a gray color thing which you see these are not assigned to any item type okay so what you need to do is here is the you know the item type you need to select for item type one you need to click 
click or select that area okay now basically we are going to use these two levels for item type one if i change this to two okay and if i want to paint this i will paint this now for green i have these two levels and for blue i have this one single level right and here is the mode of painting you can paint individual slots you can paint all slots in a same cell you can paint all slots at same level same way and same object okay you can try by yourself in the flexion simulation software for better understanding about painting slot levels right if you have any queries let me know in the comment section of this video or you can reach us out through our email id or you can also reach us out from our website beourchannel.com so if you haven't liked this video as of please do like the video it really motivates us to bring such interesting and educational contents just for you and uh, do not forget to share this our channel with your friends so that they could also join us on a journey of education and be aware okay so do not forget to like share and subscribe to our youtube channel and do not forget to visit our website beaverchannel.com for exciting blogs educational content training modules premium features you know featured program and there are a lot of stuff you can explore visiting beaverchannel.com so if you see this is what how is you no know, this is the way uh, by which we can you know transfer particular item type into the rack using asrs based on the item type right so if you have any queries let me know but i guess this model is working great right so we are transferring the patch from this conveyor onto this rack based on the item type using asrs system and then this forklift if you could see is transferring the parts ahead onto the process so basically in the next video what we're going to look about or learn about is how to basically you know load the trucks okay so how are we going to load the trucks that is at the dock area and how we are going to transfer that and we are going to learn about how the part flows from this area in our head and how is that taken care so this was our video basically you know where you will be able to understand how to transfer you know the parts to the racks based on item type so this is our video and we are going to uh, end this video here let us know if you have any views in the comment section if you have okay if you have any demand and specific to the topics of simulation where we need to create a video let us know in the comment section so let us meet in another grand interesting video on our be ever channel till then stay safe stay tuned on be ever channel